we had a bio warfare the last 30 months. If we did, we experienced a glimpse of it. What it did, it shut down the entire world, right? What is your concern with a, what a cyber warfare would look like? How would that affect Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? Welcome to Dream Richer. Bitcoin is well known to resist nearly everything you throw at it, whether that be fears of a bear market or something much more sinister, such as a cyber warfare. However, many people argue that the biggest enemy of Bitcoin is none other than a simple power grid shutdown. It's very much like a Superman and kryptonite relationship, or even though Bitcoin is a strong superhero in our story. However, it still possesses a simple, yet almost fatal weakness. Bitcoin's large usage of energy and electricity is not even news anymore. It's clear by now that Bitcoin almost feeds off electrical power in order to stay operational. Detractors claim the Bitcoin mining industry is enormously energy intensive and damaging. Currently, it consumes energy at 120 terawatt hours per year, which is the equivalent of a small country. That's correct. Just to put this into perspective, Bitcoin uses more energy than the whole country of Philippines. The usage is close to half a percent of all the electricity consumed in the world, and more than seven times as much electricity as all of Google's global operations. By the end of this video, Michael Saylor unravels the mystery of Bitcoin's kryptonite, and what would happen if electricity was to be turned off. If you find the video helpful, then don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. If all of the electricity got shut off and every computer failed everywhere on Earth for 10 years, the protocol just goes dormant for 10 years. And as soon as one person turns one node back on, the entire protocol comes back to life again. There's nothing like that, right? Uh, all your money in a bank and Bank of America could be wiped out with, you know, a keystroke. You go and you wipe out a few servers, you know? Your building can be wiped out with a bomb, right? Lots of things can be wiped out, but Bitcoin is the most resilient thing in cyberspace because it is so incredibly decentralized. Hypothetically speaking, if there is a prolonged, large-scale loss of power all across the globe, which means that nobody has access to the internet for a couple of days, because even the backup generators, which keep the internet up, have failed, then Bitcoin will still exist, as will all the other data, and one could theoretically trade it. The real question then becomes, what will you trade Bitcoin with and how will you buy or sell offline? Bitcoin is after all a currency. The underlying value is determined by people exchanging it for stuff online. Most digital goods and services depend on being connected to the net. It would be like flying to an alien planet with a billion dollars and not being able to spend it. Because it is not the default currency and USA is not the strongest country anymore. However, the fact still stands. A prolonged power outage would take a large toll on Bitcoin mining, transactions, and trading. Hence, you could expect a temporary dump in the price of Bitcoin. This situation, however, is very unlikely to occur because the power systems industry is now more advanced than ever. We just saw last year during the China crackdown that China banned Bitcoin mining they took 40 to 50 percent of the entire network offline. Half of Bitcoin money was taking place in China. The network didn't miss a beat, not even for a minute. It just kept running completely secure. You could literally wipe out 99 percent of all the nodes you wouldn't notice in the network. There's nothing else that you rely upon. <laughs> I can take down Google and Twitter and Facebook and Apple and Amazon and the US government and you know there's a lot of other systems you can take down much more easily you take down Bitcoin. So I don't really worry about Bitcoin's um, fragility to any cyber attack. This is a big idea. We've encrypted money. Right? It's such a huge idea. Since most people don't know what money is, it doesn't occur to them that money is energy. Since they don't understand what money is, they don't really understand that money's defective, that the energy is bleeding out of their currency. And is, it, by the way, if money is energy, the energy finds its way into a currency. It also finds its way into stocks and into bonds and into property. They're all bleeding energy over time or over space. 
It's clear from Michael Saylor's explanation that Bitcoin has and will continue to resist all possible attacks. This is because Bitcoin isn't held together by the internet. It is held together by the computers that make up the internet. So, if the internet goes down, the computers will still each have a copy of the blockchain. Once the internet comes back up, these copies of the blockchain are tallied together to check if the transactions are all consistent. If they are, then the Bitcoin network is resumed. So long story short, the answer is no. Bitcoin will not go down if the internet goes down. In fact, Bitcoin might not even go down if all computers crash, because the blockchain is just a ledger that is stored in a hard disk. So practically speaking, Bitcoin can go down when every storage device in the world goes down. And even then, there is a slim possibility that someone printed out the entire blockchain onto several reams of paper before this hypothetical hard disk apocalypse. Do you think we could ever see such a scenario playing out? Could a power outage be the Bitcoin's biggest enemy, like the Superman kryptonite relationship? Let us know in comments below. To learn more about the latest crypto news, watch these videos here.